here we are my second the second question given he said y1 and y2 are solution of the second order differential equation now this is a general form of second order differential equation he gave us and he said it showed that the wrong skin of y1 and y2 is given by abel's identity which is the constant time the exponential of the coefficients of the, my leading coefficient divided by my last coefficient with respect to x so now let's about to prove in abel's identity so since we're given the general second order standard equation which we're given to be a d a naught times d square plus a one times d plus a is a that's a two in brackets y is equal to zero i know we are we have actually we not we have not actually talked about second order differential equation so i'm just going to revise or chip in some um some some let's say some hint so we know that this d is called a d it's called a d operator d is equal to d dx that's just one of the hints i'm trying to explain so basically there is y here and if i multiply through by y i have a d a naught d square y plus a1 d plus a2 a2 a, a1 dy plus a2 y equals zero right multiplying through by y so since d is equals to d dx i can have a naught d and d square is actually saying d square over dx square right so this gives me d square y times the y here over dx square plus a1 my d is d d over dx right so d over dx y plus a to y equals so basically you see this is they're actually trying to this is actually a representation of this to this this is called operator d so this is just one of the hint i'm just i just want i just want to chip in so back to our question which says we should prove the abel's identity from giving the two solution of the differential equation this so how do we do that so you know that when we solve this differential equation which which we are given as a not d1 sorry it's not d1 d square plus a1 d plus a square bracket y is equal to zero you know when we solve this differential equation we're going to have two solutions right we're going to have y1 and we're going to have y2 right so now we know that yeah this solution particular solution this particular equation is equal to zero so when we substitute our two solution which is y1 and y2 we're going to have zero so substituting my y1 i can write my equation to be a right now the writing operator d to be in form of y prime you know that the y dx means y prime right and d square y over the x square also means what y prime prime right since this is d square and this is d square means meaning second derivative of y with respect to x can also be written as a y prime prime plus a one y prime right plus a square is that taking equals zero right so my since giving my y1 substituting it in this equation i just actually wrote this equation to be this they are actually the same thing because d square y over the x square is y prime prime the y the y over the x which is y prime then a to y equals zero so this this is basically the same equation so since if i substitute my first my solution of my two solution i'm getting from the equation i'm going to have zero so substitute my first equation substituting substitute y1 i have a y a1 prime prime right plus a1 prime plus a2 equals zero right oh don't forget my there is a y here right don't forget the y here which is y1 and this is y1 right so now substituting my y1 into this basically in the, basically into this equation i have this right and it all will be equal to zero so this is my second solution i have a 
a y two prime prime plus a y two prime plus a two y two equals zero. Right now, let's multiply the first equation by y two and multiply the second equation by y one, so we can actually solve a simultaneous equation. So we're having two equation now. This is equation one, and this is equation two. Multiplying equation one by y two, and multiplying equation two by y one gives me a y a y prime prime y two plus a y prime y two plus a two y one y two equals zero. The same goes for this. We have a two prime prime y one plus a y two prime y one plus a two y two y one equals zero. Now subtract the two equation. Subtracting the two equation, we have a open bracket this minus this that is subtracting equation one. Subtracting equation sorry equation two. Equation one, I rather equation one from two, we have this minus this, right? So this is y two prime y one minus y one y two prime open bracket. You understand basically what I did. This minus this, the a becomes common. Take out the a, factor out the a. So I left it y two prime. Sorry, y two prime prime. Then y1 prime prime y2 right plus this minus this the a becomes common you write out the a open bracket this is y2 prime y1 minus y1 prime y2 plus now this is basically they are two they are the same right so basically it will cancel out then gives me plus zero equals zero right so now Another hint I'm going to save since we have not actually talked about wrong scan equation. Like I said, I said wrong scan equation is basically talking about how a differential equation can be linearly, linearly dependent or linearly independent. So, and wrong scan equation is given by if y and y1 are root y2 are, are solutions of a particular differential equation. Then the wrong the wrong scan of y1 y2 will give me y1 times y2 prime minus y2 times y1 prime. So this is basically the wrong scan equation I'm talking of. So basically you can say w is equal to y1 y2 prime minus y2 y1 prime. So this is the wrong scan equation I'm talking of. So wrong scan equation of y of two of this basically two solution of a particular differential equation, which is Presented as W will be equal to the one kind of Y one Y two be equal to Y one times the 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 derivative first first derivative of the, of Y two minus Y two times first derivative of Y one. So differentiating this wrong scan, which is W with respect to X, I have D W with respect to X will be apply my product rule. I have holding this one constant. Differentiating this one, differentiating y2 prime will give me y2 prime prime, right? Plus, holding my y2 prime constant and differentiating my y1, you understand what I'm doing? I'm actually differentiating this one. Holding this one constant, differentiating this one. Holding this one constant, differentiating this one. Holding, holding my y2 prime constant. Next, holding this, const holding this one constant, differentiating this one. We have minus y2. Differentiating this one this is y1 prime prime plus holding y1 prime constant and differentiating my second one I have y2 y y2 prime times y y1 prime right holding this one constant differentiating this one this is y1 prime prime holding y y prime constant and differentiating this one which is y2 prime so y2 prime y1 prime so we have actually differentiated differentiated this is that taken. So now opening my bracket, we have y1 y2 prime prime plus y2 prime y1 prime 
open bracket is y2 y1 prime prime minus y2 prime y1 prime so this we cancel out it gives me this minus this gives me zero so basically i'm left with left with y1 y2 prime prime minus y2 y1 prime prime so now we see that differentiating this with respect to this we're actually having this function here are you seeing it and we know that if you look at this this is y2 prime y1 minus y1 prime y2 this is basically give me the wrong scan of y1 and y2 which is this so we're going to substitute since the y dx is giving me this right and my w which is the wrong scan of y1 and y2 is giving me this i'm going to substitute substitute these two function into this equation so there we have so there we have so then this then this can be given as a not y2 prime prime y1 minus y1 y2 prime prime plus a1 y2 prime y1 minus y1 y2 y1 prime y2 close my bracket equals to zero so like i said we said we're going to be substituting substituting those two functions which we got as which you got let's say which you got as w is equal to y1 y2 prime minus y2 y1 prime and my du the w dx we got it as y1 y2 prime prime minus y2 y1 prime prime right so substituting these two equation into substituting these two function into this this equation we have a naught times this right dw over dx plus a1 we have this right to be w equals to zero so taking this factor or taking this factor rather to the other side we have a naught times the w over the x equals minus a1 over w right so minus a1 times w so basically we want to have a particular equation right so we apply separation of variables so basically taking this constant to this other side dividing both sides by a1 dividing both sides by a1 we have dw over the x is equal to minus a1 over a naught times w right so applying separation of variable taking the one for w to, to meet w and taking one for x to the other side this is w, dw over w equals minus a1 over a naught times the x so integrating both sides we have one over a linear function gives me lin w right equals integral minus a1 over a naught dx right so we know that lean which is natural logarithm of x which is log to the base e times w is equal to integral minus a1 over a naught dx so taking the exponential of this apply a rule of logarithm which says log or lean or yeah log a b equals x can also be written as a over x equals b so this is exponential is w is equal to exponential minus open bracket a1 over a naught dx right so basically we know that writing a standard form or standard formula for an exponential will be given as exponential of kx is equal to c exponential of kx this is a standard form so writing this to be given to as w is equal to c exponential minus integral minus integral a1 over a naught dx so this is my abel's identity so basically this identity here is equal to our basic raw scan of y1 and y2 which you say which says y1 times y2 prime minus y2 times y1 prime is equal to c exponential minus integral a1 over a naught dx so yeah actually the same so either we either we find this one and use it to verify this one or we find this one and use it to verify this one that is that
thank you guys for watching